welcome in once again pro Anthony Towns. Thank you. Uh, welcome to the show. Good to have you here. What are you doing here, by the way? What's I'm here to enjoy the, the energy, the atmosphere. I want to learn what it takes to be in the NBA Finals and how it looks when you are there. So I'm here to just soak it all up and uh, try to bring this kind of atmosphere and energy to Minnesota. You sure made it look easy. Your rookie year. I mean, what did you take away from it? What did you learn from it? I think the biggest thing is just how blessing first uh, it is to be an NBA. You guys have been playing for years, and I've been growing up watching you guys, so it's awesome to be sitting here. Uh, second, I think it's just, you know, how, how important it is in the league to really take care of your body, really just understand the game before start playing. So, uh, you know, everyone in the league, important to players, everyone's very talented. That's, you don't make it to the league without talent. And uh, to get them a chance to understand the game a little better, it makes the game a lot fun. You know, having a year where you got to sit, learn, watch, play with a Kevin Garnett every single day. Talk about the impression that he had on you and how he helped you develop and grow this first year. Uh, big time. You know, the thing that KG teaches more than just talent is just an IQ that's unmatched and a, a different philosophy of the game. So my mentality has changed a lot. And I was really blessed to be a chance to do that. Cat, watching you play, you know, even in Kentucky, you could do a little bit of everything, inside, outside, and that transformed into the NBA. I wonder, a guy with your skill level, what do you work on this summer that you want to take next year for the NBA? Because when a guy is that skillful, what area do you really pick out to say, I want to get better at? I think the biggest thing is, uh, is really working on every aspect. You want to be as sharp as possible next season. So I just worked on every aspect so far this offseason, but I've also added some new tools to the toolbox. Oh, okay. So I can't wait to uh, I can't wait to really just show them out next year. Uh, I've been showing very few people my moves and I, I think they like it a lot. So I can't wait to show them. And Karen, we can't wait to see them either. I, I'm curious about your team. There's not a, a younger a young team in the league. That get, I get more excited about than Minnesota with yourself Andrew Wiggins. Zach Levine as a part of that young core uh, just talk about the potential of uh, the goals the connection that the three of you have being so young and being so talented I think the biggest thing is that we have that unity and that's the first sign of a championship team is to have that unity to have that respect for each other and have that love for each other so right now our team is a it's a very excited time to be a Minnesota Timberwolves and especially to be a fan uh, the future looks very bright uh, we just hired a new coach so uh, you know, right now we're seeing to be changing in the direction. Last year, Coach Sam Mitchell did a great job, a fabulous job with us, especially with the circumstances being what they were. Uh, and now we have a Coach Tom Thibodeau, and we're very excited to see where he could take us. Yeah, what you know, kind of conversations have you had with Coach Tibbs so far? What are your expectations? Uh, make the playoffs. I mean, we, we expect to make the playoffs. Uh, I don't think anyone uh, in the NBA world uh, thinks that we can't do it. We have the talent, we have the organization, and we have the coaching to do it. So it's all up to the players now to execute. You know, I watched you guys beat Golden State and Golden State, and that was a fabulous game. When you watch Golden State here in the finals, how would you go about beating them, and, and what did you guys do to beat them? How did you attack Golden State? I think first you have to make sure that someone is on the ball at all times. You know, switching for us was a big thing that game. We really utilized something that the San Antonio Spurs were the first one to utilize against them, which was switching. Uh, so I was making sure that we always had someone on the ball. Uh, secondly, just don't let Golden State dictate the pace. You dictate the pace. So what we did was... Golden State is going to be great fast or they're going to be a great set team. The reason they're such a great set team, they set great screens and Steph Curry and Klay Thompson coming off, shoot the ball so quick. If you make one little mistake, they're shooting the ball. So what we did was make sure we played, they played offense at a pace we felt very comfortable with. Uh, just made it very hard on them, made them take tough shots. And for that night, they weren't hitting them. And we, uh, we did a great job of getting rebounds, making sure they didn't get second chance points. A uh, big thing they've been getting, especially with Cleveland this series. And, we just made sure we uh, we stayed the course. You know, in the game, we were down by 17. Many yeah, people don't really right. realize that we were down by 17. But uh, the signs of a great team is you stay with the game plan no matter how many times you get hit in the face. And uh, Mike Tyson was the first to say, you know, everyone has a plan going <laughs> in until you get hit in the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we did a great job just sticking, this, staying disciplined, staying the course, letting the game continue to fall in our hands. Yeah, you not only beat the Warriors last year, you beat the Hawks twice, but I won't get into that. <laughs> but I'm curious, as you reflect on your rookie year, what's the one thing that was easier than you thought, and what's the one thing that was tougher than you thought before you started your rookie season? 
I think the biggest thing, uh, when I came in, I thought that the physicality would take a lot more wear, wear and tear on my body. Uh, and uh, we were just talking before, we had Arnie, uh, Arnie Gander uh, for our training staff. So it felt that we, we, I felt great rejuvenated every game. So uh, I was, felt very healthy, very, uh, very healthy all the time. So I was very blessed to have that happen in my first year, especially playing all 82 games. Uh, and I thought which was harder was, uh, I think more of just the, the speed and everything. I thought that uh, you want to always learn how to change speeds and everything, but I, everything came a lot more easier to me having Kevin Garnett. And when you have a person like that who is a first ballot Hall of Famer who's teaching you the ropes from the first day, uh, I learned a lot more quicker. My learning curve was a lot quicker than a lot of other rookies uh, due to the fact that I had him. So uh, it may have been hard for the first couple days, but when I learned my speed, how to dictate it, how to calm down, play at my speed, at my speed, my game, don't let the defense dictate what I do, dictate what I want to do, uh, my game excelled and I just played a lot better. Hey, where do I get a pair of blue velvet <laughs> slippers? <laughs> uh, these are some Del Toro, so I'm having a lot of fun wearing them. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> Man had no idea. Oh, what?